Sounds like someone wants to get funky. There are few things that make a movie timeless. Inevitably, everything we create must be dated by the culture that surrounded us at that time, and while the subject of this video certainly reeks of 2010's rule of cool and story writing shenanigans, it still manages to hold up as one of the best movies I've ever seen, and consistently finds its way to the front of my thoughts again and again. A major factor contributing to this is the fact that 90% of the soundtrack is in all of my playlists. This is One Musical Scene, a collaboration created by Nando V Movies to examine scenes from media that use music in incredible or interesting ways. When I watched his videos, specifically the part where he suggested creating your own One Musical Scene analysis, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World once again found its way to my brain. There is a lot that can be said about the way this movie structures its story, from the farcical, possibly imaginary or exaggerated fight sequences, to the fourth wall breaking and directing decisions that still blow my mind every single time I watch this movie. One particularly interesting element I feel has gained less attention due to the emphasis on Scott and Ramona and the seven X's is the battle of the bands. Throughout the entire movie, Scott and his band Sex Babom finds themselves again and again in increasingly intense and wacky music battles. It elevates to the point where by the third act they're quite literally having a music battle. The use of music in this movie prominently features songs written by actual established bands such as Beck and Metric. However, the playing of the movie is the actors themselves, who had to learn to play their respective instruments. Except for Michael Sarah, who was so incredibly good at bass, he actually had to tone it down for a more believable sound. Where's Knives? Not coming in tonight? No, we broke up. Hey, check it out, I learned the bass line from Final Fantasy 2. I find it quite difficult to narrow it down to just one scene for this video. Each musical performance serves a very important purpose to the story besides just being music, and all of them are fairly memorable. However, I ultimately decided to dissect the clash at Demon Head's Black Sheep and how the song not only recalls Scott and Indy's relationship, but shows a lot of the themes and meaning behind the entire plot of the movie in its lyricism. Take a listen. That guy on bass? Oh yeah. That's Todd. I know. Oh yeah. You know? Thank you for watching this analysis. This is not something that I typically do on this channel or really have typically ever done before, but when I saw Nando V Movies call to make my own, um, something just came to mind and I decided to make one. I know it was pretty short. Ultimately, I decided that keeping it short was probably the best idea because if I tried to cram all of my thoughts and ideas into one video, then it would just not be as entertaining. I hope you enjoyed the way I laid this out. I'd like to make more stuff like this in the future, but to be completely honest with you, my workflow works in a way where I just have to get inspired and work on something all day. However, if you did enjoy this video, maybe subscribe. I don't know what else I'm going to put on here, but it was really fun to participate in this. I'm going to link the one musical scene playlist down below so you can go and watch everyone else's videos on this subject. Uh, they probably made much longer and much better videos than mine, but I really just wanted to try this out, and I think it was really fun. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye-bye.